There's the gearbox off. And you have to exchange rates off. Oh. Slowly coming apart. This is when I start to get worried. That should slide out easily, but <laughs> that's probably what was blocking it inside. A bit of rust that was around here, around there. Ooh, will the engine start after we pull it all apart and put it back together? <laughs> As you can see, this video is all about the engine. We bought this Jammer 4JH3E for 3,000 euros. And it's obviously second hand. And it works. But we decided that we should have a look inside. Maybe give it a clean, change some gaskets. So that's what this video is all about. So I hope you enjoy it. I want to apologize in advance also because the quality is not great. The lighting wasn't amazing and maybe there's a lot of noise but we were in a workshop that is quite noisy. <laughs> so yeah, sorry about that but I think you will enjoy it. So I'll leave you to it. See you at the end. Oh, the camera does not like this light. Oh, probably get epilepsy. So today I'm working with Nico on the engine, uh, but before Nico arrives, I just need to drop the oil and strip down a couple of bits so we can uh, get the rocker cover off and look at getting the head off today. All right, let's see where this goes. I got cold. So uh, here yeah, I got the oil out, which is good. Now next thing is to get this gearbox off. And oh geez, there's always someone working next door. Uh, so yeah, just take the bell housing off and see what happens. Taking the pipe off with the cooling system, because this gearbox is cooled. Uh, the other one's not. So let's see if we can get it off. There's the gearbox off. So I might go grab the other one just to see how it fits. Also, we took the cover off the water pump. I'm just wondering if the impeller I have flying around is the right one. If not, I'll have to get another one. There's the, the gearbox. Nice. This is the uh, in pieces engine. And I needed the gearbox dampener and the like off the back. But when you turn it, it turns the main crank. So I'm by myself, so I had to ratchet strap this uh, wrench to the crank shaft, I think that's what you'll call it, to get those bits out. So there's the shiny new gearbox. Not so shiny at the moment, but uh, one day it will be. Yeah, and I've changed the hose, and this hose here. Here's the little heat exchanger for the oil. Whereas on the other gearbox, the angled gearbox, it had a, a cooling system as well. Whereas this one doesn't, just has some fans inside. So yeah, you can see it's a bit crap. It's not so pretty, but as I say, once it's cleaned up, resprayed, it should be acceptable. Nico's on his way back. So once he's back, we can look at, get the heat exchanger off first, and then look at taking off the rocker cover, the injectors, then hopefully the head gasket, the head. But we'll see, best laid plans. Started to label in things. The injector is protected from the dust and water. Very important. I need to exchange results. I'm in charge of labeling. <laughs> oh. Looks healthy. Yeah. 
It looked old. <laughs> it was uh, the origin gasket. Okay. It's very old. Perfect. Ooh, good news. So uh, four stroke. So, so there's two per each. Mm -hmm. One lets in, one closes. It does four strokes per each time the piston moves. Like something like that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a mechanical engineer. <laughs> Put little lids on this one. Oh. <coughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, empty the water. Mm -hmm. All right. ooh, ooh, ooh. So that is salt water or fresh water? <laughs> uh, I'm assuming it would be salt water. Mm -hmm. I'm on cleaning duty. Marini, you missed a bit. This is very strong product. Slowly coming apart. I don't know if once I upload this video it will show this light. Yeah, it's quite annoying, isn't it? Yeah, it's annoying. I don't know. We'll see if it shows. But if it does, sorry. It's just the light in here is uh, funny on the camera. This is when I start to get worried <laughs> because there's many pieces everywhere. But Nico knows what he's doing. We've got Little caps. We're about to take the head off, so all these needed to be undone. How are you feeling about the engines, too? No, I ain't bloody working anymore, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I work for Nico. <laughs> Where's <Well, it's> good? <laughs> we need supervision. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know anything about engines, but it looks pretty healthy to me. Like, I don't know. No rust. Very oily, lubricated. Yeah, well, a little bit of surface rust, but I, I'll try and paint that. Yep, ready? Go. What is this magic spray? It's for brake. Ah, uh, brake cleaner fluid. Yeah. Yeah. So you bought this gasket? Yeah. Oh, okay. I bought this one. Mm-hmm. If Nico didn't bend it, we could probably reuse. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Anything, uh, anything you it looks bad, you, you say, eh, Nico? It's dirty, very dirty. Okay, yeah, but it's because uh, it has many hours, it has many hours.
how the fuel just go into the sun? Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> After a lot of hammering, starting to come out. Hammering and cleaning. Yeah. A little bit of damage here. I yeah. don't know if that's going to be acceptable. I told Stuart maybe he should put the wood here to hammer it and that wasn't a good idea because there's a little crack now there but we'll have a look at that once it's out. Right. I'll hold. That should slide out easily but <laughs> <laughs> with the things being taken out on the 20 years. Is out. Wow, it's surprisingly heavy. Oh, what is that? What? That, look, inside. Inside? That's probably what was stopping it. Mm. Some kind of gasket? Oh, we took the gasket out. You got it? This tape? That's probably what was blocking it inside. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad actually. So if it's not for that, I think it would have come out all right. All the cylinders are pretty clean inside. That's cool. <laughs> Nice. We're working on the engine again today. So we're just loading up our little trailer with tools and we're off to the workshop. We've got beats everywhere. Here are the new gaskets. Hopefully they are good. New thermostat, new fuel filter, all the good stuff. Where should we start? <laughs> but I look like a mechanic. <laughs> I ain't no grease monkey. <laughs> <laughs> the plan for the day is mainly cleaning, put some paint on some places, and try to put the engine back together or almost back together. So we've just been cleaning many pieces with toothbrushes, with polishing head things. We've cleaned all this just with very fine sandpaper, with a little blade. And a little spray booth. Yeah, we've created it. Well, Stuart sprayed to this little spray booth, and that's already been sprayed. So shiny. This is the parallel gearbox that we got from the rusty engine, and we've uh, tried to get rid of some rust, clean it a bit. We'll be painting this as well. I don't know when, though. I don't know if we'll paint this today. This is clean inside. Yeah, it is quite clean. That looks pretty good. Yeah, right. Next one. And you guys get this on. Yeah, we've got the torque. Tells you the order. Kilbiter. Cash. 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 
sister is always learning French. Closing down for the day. We put a couple of new gaskets on. And tomorrow we need to clean where the next gaskets are gonna go in. Maybe do some painting again. Maybe I ordered the wrong gasket. I ordered. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I measured it with the vernier, it said 80. I was like, well, I get 80, uh, 80 mil. Might only be 75 mil. <laughs> So we'll, we'll see. We'll see tomorrow with just, the professional. Right. Yeah, just for the ends of the heat exchanger. <laughs> uh, these are 80s and maybe I only need 75. And in the, we have the spares book and it said it's either one or the other. So it'll be what it'll be. I just hate paying for postage twice. I'd sooner have bought more gaskets because the postage is like eight euros and the gaskets for four. You only need two, but it's handy to keep the other two. Another day of working in dungeon. I was telling the steward it's quite boring because you have to scrape little bits of paint in these little spaces and rust and clean this and clean that. It's quite tedious. Tedious? What's the word? Uh, obnoxious. <laughs> obnoxious is the word. <laughs> I don't know. It's, uh, yeah, it's tiring. Like it's not physically hard, but just constantly and hopefully today we can get it all back together almost I don't know we'll see Just been dremeling, sanding and cleaning. A bit of rust that was around here, around there. So we're about to paint a little bit. A little bit. Just a little bit. Color is a bit different, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I'll come back and do another layer there. And I'm here just trying to get this gasket off the water pump because we've got a new one but it's well stuck in there so this little blade 
and this brake cleaning product are my friends at the moment. And we thought that the engine was gonna be finished today. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> but it's looking better. We've put some paint. We got some tape. Covering the injectors. The other side is looking good. So we've got a few things still to clean and paint a few bits, but all this has been clean, sanded, painted. Oh my god, my hands are so dirty. Ugh. This little rubber thing that was on the stop solenoid is, uh, is dead. <laughs> And we don't know where we can find a replacement for this. Good. Happy with the day of work? Yeah, not too bad. Just got to find that rubber and uh, the thermostat gasket. It came to, come with an O-ring, um, but I couldn't find the gasket. So, worst case scenario, I just use a bit of gasket paper, which I have no idea where it is. We've just tidied up a little bit in here, but tomorrow is supposed to be our day off. We're gonna have to come and keep working. Today I can hear this noise coming from the cradle where, where a boat is on, and we've just confirmed that we've got chicks. <laughs> Bloody squatters, that's what it is. Squatters. Yeah, they're so cute. <laughs> But we don't know if the mom is coming to feed them because they've been crying all day. And I've already found a dead one right there. Maybe it fell off and the ants were eating it. Poor thing. But yeah, look, I don't know if we Ready? can catch it. I don't want to scare them, but I don't know if the camera can. I think they're hiding. I think the other two have already died. With the bright light. Okay, we need some worms. Insects. That's what they eat. Oh, there's like three of them. And they keep just asking for food. I haven't seen the mom for a while, so I'm just worried that they're gonna die in there. They just keep opening their little mouths. Asking for food. Because the mom could come back, but if she doesn't, <laughs> they're gonna die in there. Hey, Marina, we got three little birds just by our doorstep. <laughs> Talk about Molly something. <laughs> it says in here if you can locate the nest nearby, the best thing to do is simply place the nestling back in the nest. If you cannot locate the nest, leave the nestling where you found it and move it to a shaded area. The parents will come back. Don't worry, your scent won't deter the parents. The parents will come back. We'll keep an eye, I guess, and if we don't see the mom, I don't know, we'll keep an eye on them. I just worry that if we touch them, like, Maybe the mummy's coming back and we're just taking them away from her. But they just seem so hungry all the time, crying for food. Last summer, Stuart found a baby kitten in the water, drowning. There is no such thing as a baby kitten. Well, it a, is kitten. a kitten. Okay, a kitten. <laughs> and did you we find these chicks? Luckily, we didn't find them at the same time. <laughs> there would have been a problem. <laughs> they would have been fighting like Tom and Jerry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, there's birds there, maybe there's the parents. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They're kind of yellowy as well, or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the parents, that's the parents. Oh, I hope they're the parents. Come on, feed your babies. 
Maybe they eat these little berries. Yeah, they just grab a load of those berries, chew them up, mix them with a little bit of water and feed them with a teaspoon. <laughs> just feed them out of your mouth. <laughs> My dad feeds his parrot out of his mouth. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Anyway, we'll keep you updated. <laughs> it's all good. I just saw the mum going in there. I've been on guard here. So she had four chicks and one is dead already. One day the other three are gonna make it. Yeah, it's slowly starting to take shape. We've spent the last couple of days sanding and painting all the wee little bits, as it were. This table was more organized, but uh, we're now working. So next thing is the exhaust manifold, get that on. And uh, now that we've got Nico, cause he's been busy for the last few days. But yeah, slowly, slowly, Marina's editing the video. So she's left me to my own devices, which probably a bad idea, but we'll be all right. The engine had a little bit of pitting, just on the exhaust side of the heat exchanger. So we just put a tiny bit of quick metal type stuff, the epoxy metal in. And yeah, it's looking all right. Yeah, so just there, uh, don't know how good the camera catches it, but yeah, it's looking pretty good. Uh, so now, yeah, exchanger in, pipes on, uh, air inlet uh, there, put the filters back on. Uh, thanks, Simon, for the filters. We're just missing one little gasket for here. I don't know if you can see just where my finger is, just here for the water pump, but the water pump can go back on. Here's a shiny new alternator. Just getting ready to start it again, after we've put it back together. Make sure that we've done everything right. Milking a cow. <laughs> but <laughs> we won't drink that. No. <laughs> Towards this, the engine got excited, that's why.
So, what did you think? The engine is started, we put it all back together, and it's all good again. And looking a bit better, I think, with the paint and all the rust off, and yeah, I think we did a good job. Obviously, thanks to Nico, that was guiding us through, and even though it was a bit boring, sometimes, just cleaning. There's a lot of cleaning involved of being a mechanic, which is quite interesting. But yeah, um, we enjoyed it because I think we both learned quite a bit and we feel a bit more confident about the engine. So it's a good thing that we did that. And of course, I'm not gonna go without saying a massive, giant thank you to everyone who's supporting us. The channel keeps growing. This week we've been like counting the new subscribers. Uh, we're really excited. I think in a week we gained a thousand. So yeah, that's pretty amazing. Thank you very much. If you are not subscribed, by the way, you should do it. And thank you, of course, to all the people who's been supporting us this week on PayPal, on Coffee, and thank you to our patrons. We've got Patreon now, so if you would like to support this project, just follow the link in the description. And that's all from me, I think. Yeah, now that the engine is sorted, we can work on the hole again, which is also pretty important. So, thank you again. I hope you enjoyed this one, and see you next week. Bye!